All right, welcome back. Um, quick video of this uh, H22. Um, I got this from another vehicle. It's just a spare engine. I put a brand new uh, timing belt on it and tensioner and balance belt. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm gonna show you a quick video of how to do a leak down test on the cylinder number one. So first, um, this is what I'm using, OTC uh, leak down tester. Uh, that's the part number right there, top right corner. So first, what we're gonna show you guys here is that make sure when uh, when we're doing the leak down test, all the valves are closed. Find out on the Honda. See that cam loop right, right there? I don't know if you can see. Hold on. Alright. This loop right there. Make sure those are facing up or sideways. At the exhaust, same thing on the intake. Cam lube pointing up. You have to have the, of course, the valve cover taken out to find that out. Or you can go to the cam gears here. Arrow up. Arrow up. There's a notch right here. Line up to the deck of the of the head. And then on the crank, there's a there's a keyway right right there, face up. And that's how you find out that you're on the top dead center. And cam loops are facing up. That means that all the valves are closed. So that's how you set up on the engine side. Now I'm gonna show you how to do the setup, um, the leak down tester. All right, so get you guys on the tripod there. Um, there's the line that goes into the spark plug hole, threaded in there. This come with the with the kit. Everything you need on that box on that OTC. That's right, kit. Everything you need is all in there. So this goes into this liner here. Lock in place. And then the other port is to your compressor line. Okay. So before I uh, open the valves on this, I mean this valve right here, we're gonna open it so that we could supply air inside the cylinder. When, when we supply air in the cylinder, we had to uh, hear or listen to a noise. Where is the air coming from? Okay. Before I show you guys. Um, I'm gonna show you this chart right right here. This is on the back of the inside of the casing um, This little chart here. Uh, it's really nice. It gives you like the chart of what gauge pressure you, you're gonna apply so This is the air that you're gonna apply to the left gauge That's what I mean left right here left gauge and right right gauge this is where the compressor air and this is the pressure in the in the cylinder so a little chart here it's really nice uh, first we'll, if you put 75 psi on the left gauge and and then we'll see how much uh, the cylinder will hold I mean like the engine cylinder see how much will hold if it's uh, 67 psi and then that means it's 11 percent 
leakage um, so we have to watch what's our spec here um, uh, we can if it's 10% or more yeah that, that means uh, we had to find out where is that leaking from okay so uh, yeah this and then it shows like the test result and it's, it's saying that if it's um, escaping from the crankcase means that you're worn out exhaust exhaust um, what's this ring ring exhaust valves then this one if it's uh, escaping from the exhaust system of course exhaust valves so if it's escaping from the carburetor or or throttle body it's an intake valve on the rad the bubbling of course there will be the head gasket or crack head so it's, re it's, it's really nice all right so let's do a let's put air on this let's put 75 psi right, right here and let's see what it show up okay i'll put air in in the port now i'm going to open the the valve we're going to put 75 psi here and let's see what the cylinder will will hold okay 75 psi pop it out i could hear air coming out already let's go 60 psi and it's only like 10 psi holding now we can listen to where is the air com coming from the compressor is gonna turn on here in a second yeah I could hear on the intake if you plug it up it changes the sound from the intake How about the exhaust? The exhaust is okay. On the on the upper rad hose where it goes in. See if there's a noise coming there, nothing. Dipstick. Nothing. Yo. So it sounds like it's coming from the intake. All right, quickly adjust the valve blast on the intake side. 0 0.006 on the intake and then 0 0.008 on the exhaust. Make sure you got that little bit of a drag on the filler gauge. This is what I use to adjust it. You can buy this online, it's like 20 bucks. So let's uh, try this again. Let's put 60 PSI on the left and see if it holds over 100 PSI on the right. Here we go. It helps a little bit, but all right, the compressor is on, so I'm gonna put this in pause for a bit. All right, after that air pump was going, um, I adjust the intake a little bit more so that I have that low drag when I when I use the filler gauge. So uh, let's try this again. Um, earlier I put 60 PSI, the, the needle came from like zero to 30. So let's try this again. Let's put, let's start, let's, this time let's put 75, okay? Let's put 75. So 75, about 42.
feels like coming from the Bob Seal. Yeah, I uh, I can see it. I can hear it from the from the dipstick tube too. So I stick my ear on the dipstick tube. So I could hear the air coming out from up here. Um from the from the guides. And uh I could hear a little bit of air coming from the tube. So, you know, uh, it could be from the piston rings and the guides. So, uh, let's uh, check it out in our chart. So, when I went to 75 PSI on the left, it went up to like 42 PSI on the right gauge. So let's look at the chart here. So I hear 75. It went to like 42. Oh wow, not even in the chart, out of chart. So it could be like, you know, 18 or 20 percent leak leakage. That's not good. That's not good. So it looks like, a, well, no matter what, if we're gonna test all all the the rest of the cylinder, three, four, uh, two, three, and four, I'm not gonna do anything with that. We know that the number one is uh, is really low pressure leaking. So it looks like we're gonna have to uh, take out the head and uh, you know clean the valves, new head gasket, and maybe send it to the machine shop and uh, they will do the pressure test on the guides and intake and exhaust. That's it. So that's how you. Uh, do the leak down test on this uh, OTC and then on the Honda Purdue engine. Thanks for watching.